When the ACH-550 was released, it revolutionized VFDs. As one of the best VFDs ABB has ever designed, the ACH-550 has gone on to become the world's best-selling HVAC systems VFD. Part of the foundation that made this VFD so successful was the flux optimization algorithm. With flux optimization, ABB has taken VFDs to new heights, making them far more efficient. VFDs are constantly being pushed to their efficiency limits, but with flux optimization, ABB has shattered those limits. To better understand flux optimization, let's step back and look at how VFDs used to operate. Previously, VFDs would output the same amount of torque regardless of the application. Notice, if we look at a 460 volt system, at 60 Hz operation, the VFD would output 460 volts. That same system, when operating at 30 Hz, will output 230 volts. Likewise, a 230 volt system at 60 Hz will output 230 volts, and at 30 Hz output only 115. Notice again, in this whole conversation, the VFD did not care what the load was attached to. Yet a fan and a pump have different torque loads. Now look what flux optimization does. Remember our flow, either in GPM or CFM, varies linearly with the speed or the frequency. In this 460 volt example, we are keeping the frequency at 60 Hz, which means we are not reducing flow. With flux optimization engaged, we start out at 460 volts and are now going to lower the voltage in order to match the actual torque requirement. Here's how that looks. We start out at 460 volts, but then we lower that voltage down to say about 440. We check then to see if the current went up or went down. If the current went down, we can continue to lower the voltage, ever checking to see if the current is going up or down. So long as the current goes down, we can keep lowering that voltage. Then when the current finally rises, we lower the voltage or increase the voltage in order to send the current back down. It's at this point that the VFD actually matches the torque load of the system. It is not uncommon for us to see on a 460 volt motor and system that the VFDs are running at 60 Hz, but the voltage is less than 300 volts. By reducing not only the voltage and the current going to the motor, we have reduced the kilowatts going to that motor, the power to that motor, the energy, and above all, the money to that motor. Here's an example of a typical 25 horsepower 460 volt motor. As we see, with flux optimization turned off, as the VFD ramps the motor to 60 Hz, the output voltage goes to 460 volts and the output current lands at 12.5 amps. Now, if we enable the flux optimization, we can watch the voltage lower all the way down to 230 volts. Further, if we look at the current, it has dropped down to 5.2 amps. That's a 58.4% savings. And that's without any sacrifice in flow. Think about it this way. If you have a pump that has 16 brake horsepower, generally you see a 20 horsepower motor put on that pump. Now assuming that your application is fully torqued and using all 16 brake horsepower, there's still four horsepower left that is being unutilized. Flux optimization removes that unused, wasted energy from the motor, even if that motor is running at full speed or at 60 hertz. Even further, flux optimization allows motors to be run at lower and lower frequencies. Generally, people left the lower limits of drive to be around 20 hertz, in some cases even more. The reason for this was, as motors slow down, their ability to deliver air across the windings because of the fan blades inside the motor was reduced. Therefore, on those lower frequencies, motors would overheat. But because flux optimization takes that heat out of the windings of the motor, we can operate at those lower frequencies so long as we just don't stall the motor. We have consistently seen when flux optimization is used that motors can be driven down to 3 hertz saving even more money. 
The beauty of Flux Optimization is its elegant simplicity. It already comes installed and engaged in all ACH 550s. There is no additional programming required. Right out of the box, the ABB ACH 550 drive saves you as much energy as possible.